body activity. Yeah, body axis, playing with the axis, the body functional and what other kind of people call it? What would you call it? Just sending them out on a linear. Linear. Linear, but I would say aesthetic or uh, musically, creatively based versus functional. Of course, maybe they're somehow tied together in the end. But um, this, doing a cold gala for the sake of just doing a cold gala. Because it fits with the music, you're having fun. Versus doing a cold gala because it's going to help you achieve a goal. Most of the time, it, it helps with raps. It helps with all sorts of raps. But there are some other things that it might help you with. Okay. Uh, and what are, what's the cold gala we did in this second class? She goes, she goes. Yeah, well first she went, but it was from what position? From the back step. Yeah, back step on either side. To my right, meters, what's a nice exit? Spin. Yeah, the spin, how far? How much? How many degrees? Quarter. 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 No more than that. It feels a lot bigger. It feels humongous, especially if you do what? You're the gymnast nice. and you stick it before you step. Now when you step, you want to do what? Look where? Behind you. Yeah, because this is going to get you a little disorientated. And if you just go boom like this, you might be in the wrong place. And someone like Robin Tomas or Keenan will get a little angry at you after a long time. Yeah, so if you need to, you can, I'll show you this in the demo, you can just angle it around, waddle around a little bit until you get to the right angle and then step back or even to the side. And when I go to the leader's left here, I like to do a she goes and then who goes. He goes. He goes or yeah, I go. <laughs> okay. So you have to not place your foot too deep and find a way to either, either pick on your heel or the ball of your foot to get around so you can go. And keep your chest up because you're still hanging in a kolgada until who finishes the step? Yeah, I mean, she and technically it's both of you at this point. And if you can really maybe pivot a little and use your whole thigh like yesterday's pendulum exercise, leaders can get what? Yes, the, the man gancho. The boy gancho is just the. <laughs> and likewise, what's the danger of doing the back step over? If we're leading a back step over, what reflex might the follower produce? Gancho. The AGR, the automatic gancho reflex. How do we avoid that? But in the end, is it totally avoidable? No. no. If the follower has the a AGR, she has to do the gancho. No matter what, it might happen, and then she, she, she might apologize. I'm sorry. If you're a leader, if you're a guy, if you follow, believe me, you will go through the same experiences. All right, the automatic ochos, the automatic boleos, the automatic gotchos. It's a psychological thing. We want to help our partner as followers, and we're used to and conditioned to certain patterns. So just be gentle with your partner and work through that. Show them there's another option. Ladies, when when they sandwich our back back step. How are we supposed to deal with this? How, how should I step over? This is like a little step back? Yeah, it's still right now, yeah. And, and then what? And then down and reach. Yes. But it's not this, followers. <laughs> yeah? It's like you're trying to collect, but there's a foot there, so I'm stepping over, but I'm still trying to stay collected before I reach into my next step. Or, in short, try to create a graceful exit out of that. Okay. Do we actually have to do another demo? Yeah, because we want to show them the butterfly and the collapsible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because this is your homework. Yeah, this is your homework. We're going to do a she goes, he goes, which is butterfly, and then we're going to use Colgada to make a volcano really big and dynamic. She goes, he goes. She goes twice. Yeah. The 
collapsible. Can you can you print this? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the collapsible one I send her in a Kolkata, and then this turns into a Volkata as I collapse the embrace. But that's something that requires understanding of Volkata. Yeah, but you don't have to do it. But maybe again, you can use a little bit of Kolkata to free, to make your regular vocabulary movement a little bit more, like a little bit more juicy if you want to create suspension first. Yeah? <coughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll give you the the demo. Yeah. First thing we do is the she goes, she goes, he goes. The butterfly. Uh, again, please be socially responsible when you're doing these things. Don't just yeah, go to the Milanga and meet the either. butterflies all oh the first thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 